collecting when we uh, first got together, so about 16 years ago, and we it became a passion that we just it, it brought us closer together. It, it began to take every free moment that we had. We had the idea to start the residency, and it started just with the idea that we wanted to get to know artists and understand what it what it meant to take something from an idea to to a, a work of art. They're also functioning lamps, and they're all uh, handmade and very um, intensely labored over. But they also incorporate, you know, um, elements from whatever city I'm making them in. This residency is unique, it's very personal. So to have it anywhere else really doesn't make sense. I mean, there's this constant back and forth between the artists, between our family, our children run over there when they get home from school to see what the artists have done, you know, during that day. So having, you know, having the residency just a few steps away is what I believe really makes it successful and makes it, makes it unique and different. I work uh, primarily with painting. Uh, oil and watercolor mostly, and uh, over the last three or four years I've been focusing on landscapes. The landscape being for me a um, metaphor for, uh, or a vehicle for talking about color and light and uh, the fundamental experiences of being human in the world being separated from nature through language. So that's where it started and as we began to develop the concept we thought, wow, what, what else could we do with this and how could we better support the local community? So we work very closely with Locust Projects. We provided flights and, and um, accommodations for all their artists that came and it meant that not only did they have a nice environment in which to stay in, but they could stay longer and would stay longer because they wanted to be here and that meant they could do more ambitious exhibitions, but they could also stay around for talks, do studio visits, so really become a part of Miami's community and give my, the, the, the patrons in Miami an opportunity to spend time with them and really meet them and learn about their work. Uh, well, Miami's wonderful, and especially during the winter time, won't lie, New York's kind of dreary right now. I recreate these large-scale drawings um, on uh, no, uh, something that looks like notebook paper, obviously. Basically, I'll spend a lot of time drawing lines and cutting holes, creating these objects, uh, and then, you know, what goes on top of it is usually uh, text-based, um, either very kind of introspective, personal uh, type narratives, or uh, usually dealing with like either political or social commentary. Uh, I've been working on the series for about 10 years. tongue-in-cheek about the art world and the project that I've been working on down here is more personal narrative um, trying to find that line between literary and visual and um, so making sort of visual poetry in a way. But I use a lot of vintage equipment in my process and I have this really slow methodical uh, working process that's um, labor-intensive So for us, living about art is just feeding us, but also putting our heart and soul around us as constant reminders of incredible opportunities that we have, the beautiful relationships that we've made through these artists, through the residencies, through the studios, through our involvement in the community. I mean, it's, it's such a gift. 